Hello YouTube, how you guys doing today? It is me again, your favorite Texas trucker. And today I am sitting in Dallas, Texas, uh, picking up a load of water to take down to uh, Walgreens in Houston. And uh, I had a little bit of an extended uh, home time because I, uh, I had planned a lot of work for the truck. So uh, what we did, um, actually uh, we isn't uh, proper descriptive there because um, uh, I just dropped the truck off, that's all I did. But what Jerry did for me is uh, he replaced my turbo and uh, he replaced my uh, oil pan gasket, my uh, fuel pump gasket and my oil pump gasket. Uh, we replaced a um, exhaust clamp and um, we did a full service on it and changed out all the fluids and put on new filters, uh, coolant filter, fuel filter, oil filter. Um, it took him a couple days to do it all, but... Um, you know, we did get it done, and uh, now I'm back out on the road again. All right, now before I uh, left out, or before I got this work done, my uh, turbo was leaking oil, and I had so much oil on the engine that we were having a hard time determining where it was all coming from. A lot of it was blowback from the oil pump and the fuel pump. Um, but there was definitely a leak coming out of the oil pan also. So uh, we, we, after replacing all that, uh, we power washed everything and uh, we got the whole engine uh, cleaned up real good so that I can keep an eye on it and see if anything else is still leaking. Uh, not a lot to report yet because I haven't run the truck very much. Um, I mean, I drove from Weatherford to Triple C, I had to go, we had a driver that quit and abandoned the trailer at the pilot there in town, so I had to go run and pick it up for him and bring it back, and, uh, you know, then fueled up, went to Dallas to pick up my trailer, I dropped my trailer off at Wabash um, last Thursday so that I could get it vented, that way I could haul uh, produce, and so we got that done, I went there to pick it up, and now I'm here in Dallas, that's pretty much all I've driven the truck, so I was supposed to leave out yesterday, uh, but I came out yesterday morning, and the plan was is that I was going to uh, leave out early in the morning, go down to Wabash, pick up my trailer, drive back to Weatherford, park it at Triple C, and wait on a load, and uh, had I done that, I would have been on the road yesterday, but uh, that's not how things played out. I went out to uh, start my truck and it was dead. And, uh, which kind of surprised me, you know, because when I picked it up from Jerry, it started up just fine. I didn't leave anything on that I don't normally leave on. And uh, it's never gone dead on me before. So, uh, first thing I tried to do is jump it off the car. Uh, that's how I started the last time I let it run dead. The last time I did leave stuff on. But, um, I, you know, I jumped it off the car, and I couldn't get it to, to charge up, you know, and, and uh, it just, there wasn't nothing happening. So, finally, after a couple hours of jacking with it, you know, I had it on my portable charger for a while, and that didn't work, so I put it on, on the car and had the car charging it, that didn't work. After a couple hours, I pulled the top two batteries out, took them down to Napa to have them recharged. Got them down to Napa, and sure enough, both batteries were bad. One of them was uh, only a year old, so it was still under warranty, and uh, and I was able to get uh, get it replaced for free. It didn't cost me anything. The other one was about $170. I didn't pull the third battery. This truck runs on three batteries, not four, which also kind of surprised me. I didn't know that either. I thought there were four batteries in there. Um, but um, I didn't pull the third battery because it was such a pain in the butt to get out. Now I'm wishing that I had gone ahead and pulled it. Uh, probably it's going to be bad too, uh, or close to it. So, um, 
anyway, uh, went down to Triple C, let them know what all I did. Turns out they have a national battery uh, deal going. Uh, they use uh, Napa batteries, which is what I originally had in my truck, and um, they keep a bunch of them there at Triple C. Since they buy them in bulk, they get them for less. So instead of paying $170 for my battery, I could have got it for $118. But I still got one to trade out, so when I go back uh, on home time, I'll be trading it out. Now, um, picking this load up and going to Houston, um, they've got a load coming out of Houston going to North Dakota, uh, but um, it pays about $1.70 a mile, but the problem is, is that they're not finding any loads coming out of North Dakota, so she's thinking about not taking that load. I don't want to get stuck up there, you know, not unless it pays a little bit more than what it pays, you know. Um, so, you know, we're going to, I don't know where I'm going to go next, but, you know, things are good. Um, now they just hit my truck, um, the loaded. So, um, as far as the maintenance work goes, I'm not out anything out of pocket. Uh, I've got an escrow account with my company, and uh, and I had enough in the escrow account to pay for all the parts and the labor. So, um, so I'm not out, you know, any money at all there. Uh, you know, I'm out on escrow, you know, but I'm not out on any money. And the escrow, I'll build that back up again fairly quick. I put quite a bit in my escrow, so, you know, that'll, uh, that'll build up pretty fast. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm doing okay. You know, uh, the, the truck is doing good. I've checked it out a couple of times. And I'm not seeing any oil leaks. Uh, everything else on the truck is running, you know, really good. We're going to watch the, the turbo over the next 90 days. I'm going to do a... Um, uh, fuel analysis to see how much fuel I'm burning with this new turbo. Uh, we're going to do a 90 day average and then see if we need to make any adjustments. Uh, I don't know you know, if I'll need to make any or not. Uh, this is an aftermarket turbo that I've got on here. It's not a Cummins turbo. Uh, but it was also you know, considerably less expensive than going through Cummins to get it. So, uh, other than that, you know, things are going fairly good, you know, I mean, the last, uh, that holiday weekend wasn't worth the shit, uh, pay on there really wasn't worth the shit, but, you know, otherwise, uh, everything was going good. Did get a surprise when I went down to Triple C, though, I got a friend of mine, I've known him for quite some time, never met him in person, you know, uh, he, uh, not even sure how we became friends, but we became friends somewhere along the line, and anyway, his name's Keith Pruitt, and, uh, you know, he's been following me for quite some time on Facebook anyway, and I met him down there. He's signing on with one of the fleet owners that we've got. Uh, he doesn't own his own truck, so he's not an owner-operator, but he is signing on with one of our fleet owners as company driver. We don't have too many of them, but it's good to see him. It was good to see him, good to meet him, good to talk to him, and, uh, yeah, and I hope he does good. And then uh, there was a guy named Mitchell Heaton who had seen some of my videos come over to Triple C, and uh, he was signing his truck on there. I sat down and talked with him for quite some time yesterday. I, it was good meeting him, talking to him. So, um, you know, shout out to both you guys. Also, um, uh, Cody Porter, I think that's his name. Let me see, I wrote it down. Yeah, Co Cody Porter. Uh, he's another one who sent me a friend request here recently and, and was signing on Triple C. He's been watching some of my videos. And, uh, and I got to meet him too. So, and three new people that, that uh, you know, I got to meet uh, that I had never met before. And, and I, you know, I always like meeting new folks and making friends, you know, so uh, it's good to meet all you guys. And, uh, man, I hope you all do good. If any of you all have any problems with Triple C, man, holler at me. Um, I can help get work through, you know, as much of it as I can. But um, anyway, I guess that's about it. You know, there's uh, not really a lot to say at the moment. You know, I'm, I'm just heading off from home time, most of what I had to say. I said in the last couple videos that I made, uh, I did get one guy who uh, apparently watched at least one of my videos, and uh, he commented, uh, I finally picked up a couple of haters, you know, but anyway, he commented in there and said something to the effect that this little piece of shit's already broke, he just doesn't want to tell anybody. Uh, you know, that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, I'm definitely not broke, 
Yeah, am I making a fortune? No, I'm not making a fortune. I'm putting a lot of my money back into my truck. Uh, but I'm not anywhere near being broke. Uh, I'm paying all my bills, uh, including the truck. I'm actually ahead on my truck payment uh, by almost two months. Uh, about a month and a half, I'm, I'm ahead on my truck payment. Uh, I plan to get further ahead. And, uh, of course, I had to use part of my truck payment to uh, buy these batteries, but I'll make that back up. So I plan to get further ahead on my truck. I'm, I'm ahead on my car. Um, my car payments are about half the payment ahead, and I plan to get further ahead on it too. Um, so I'm, a, I'm ahead on both my uh, truck payment and my uh, car payment. Um, paying all my bills and still have money left over to spend on the road. You know, and uh, it's not a lot of money. You know, I'm not making a fortune out here, but again, that's because a lot of this is going back in my truck. So, if you're under the impression that because I've had quite a few uh, breakdowns and quite a few issues and a lot of maintenance on my truck, if you're under the impression that that's broke me uh, financially, you couldn't be further from the truth. You obviously, don't have a clue what you're talking about and haven't paid any attention to my videos. So, uh, but you know, haters will be haters. You know. When you're doing better than they are and, and accomplishing something they can't accomplish, they've always got to have something negative to say, you know, it's just the way they are. Uh, some people, you know, they're just, you know, negative about everything. Can't do anything about that. So I ain't worried about them. Stick around. Thanks for watching. And, uh, man, even if you don't like the damn videos, thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, do appreciate all of you. Uh, man, I'm right on the edge of catching that... Uh, Man, there went my truck down there hitting it with a forklift. I'm right on the edge of catching that thousand mark, and uh, I'm really wanting to get there. So share the videos, like the videos, subscribe, and tell people to subscribe. And if y'all have any questions about Triple C or any questions in particular that you want me to talk about, anything, you know, holler at me. Uh, you never know, I might do a video on it. All right, y'all take care, and uh, peace out.